four words. Worm God Caress in season 22. Three, two, 23. This exotic has been reworked by Bungie and is significantly stronger than it was previously, giving you both a substantial buff to your melee damage and a substantial buff to your weapon damage, a plus 35% increase when you have maximum stacks to just your weapon damage, making these extremely potent and extremely powerful. If you're feeling a little sad, a little heartbroken about your baby hammer getting nerfed, well, don't worry, Worm Gods is here to wipe away your tears. And just as a side note, there is actually a workaround to continue to use baby hammers. We'll go over that in a future video, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. But for now, we're talking about Worm God Caress. The initial damage that you do with a melee is roughly about 3,000 damage, or at least in Shirochi, that's where it's at. And at the maximum stacks, you're doing almost 12,000 damage alone with just Worm God Crest. Now, obviously you can use this with a variety of different subclasses. Some of them buff your melee damage. Like for example, Sentinel can buff your melee damage with offensive bulwark. Or for example, if you're using Berserker, you can buff your melee damage as well with Banner of War, which will stack on top of everything we're doing here and make this that much more potent, that much more powerful. And we can also use things like One Two Punch. We can use things like a Tractor Cannon to debuff, giving us those super powerful melees that we Titan mains love so much. And previously, the issue with Worm God Crest was that the timer was so short that in order to actually make this function properly, it felt next to impossible, like you would have to rush, get a bunch of melee kills, and then immediately damage the boss. But now, due to the new timer and the new timer system, it's definitely significantly more forgiving. And if you do lose a stack, you lose a percentage of damage, not just all your damage altogether, which is significant significantly nicer. And of course you can regain the stacks back quickly by just getting more melee kills. The Burning Fist now reads defeating a target with melee or a finisher grants escalating melee damage, which decays over time. Higher levels of Burning Fist grant increased weapon damage. What more could you want from an exotic, right? Your punches do more, your weapons do more. It's a 275% base increase with just Worm God Crest alone. And now what I'm going to go do is demonstrate just how powerful we can get this up to. We'll go take this bad boy into the Lost Sector here. Let's see how much damage we can do to Carl. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to take this to a little more powerful boss than that. <laughs> I didn't even get the one-two punch off. It's not bad with just my melees and my super. It's not bad. Alright. You can compare the difference between that to Worm God Caress. 245,000. Interesting. What should Worm God do? 325k versus 245k? 80,000 damage difference. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's a big difference, especially because we also don't need to stay surrounded. You just have to continuously get little ad punches. So situational, but definitely stronger. So to summarize the test here, Worm God Cress did roughly 85% more damage than Syntheseps in a strict one punch test, which is still incredibly impressive. Now, obviously keeping the burning steps uptime is going to require getting ad kills in the middle of your DPS phase, which can prove to be problematic based on which boss you're fighting. But alternatively, in order to keep your Syntheseps uptime, you have to have ads nearby you which can also prove just as difficult because if at any point in time they die you just lose all of your biotic enhancement buff so honestly i have to give the advantage to worm god crest in terms of the melee damage to bosses and on top of that it now has the added benefit of giving you a 35 percent weapon increase when you're at maximum stacks which is extremely easy to do and if that wasn't enough to convince you worm god is the real meta for season 23 now i should also say that it was extremely fun to run around and just clear ads by using uncharged melees on them once i got my stacks up really high and uncharged melee was able to two punch even really powerful majors so worm gods is definitely the way and this is coming from someone that's been a titan main for several seasons now if you've come by my stream or watched me play at all i use 
Syntheseps on Solar Titan any previous season besides the last one where I used Syntheseps exclusively on Strand Titan. And now I am gonna be swapping over and using Worm Gods. Of course, it'll take a little bit of time to test some things out here and there, but my first impressions are pretty strong and I feel like Worm God is the way. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Click on the screen here to watch another video from this channel. Smash the like button. See you in the next one. And if you're feeling thirsty out there, make sure to use code LUCKY10P to save some money on G Fuel. Also, make sure you're following me on Twitch and Kick. I go live all the time playing Destiny 2. Lastly, make sure you're following me on X, Instagram, and TikTok where I deliver Destiny 2 news to you daily. I appreciate all the followers out there.